Hello students and welcome to our steep spirals execution video. Before we jump into the cockpit, let's quickly discuss the objective of this maneuver and some key factors that we'll be focusing on. The objective of steep spirals is to provide a flight maneuver for rapidly dissipating substantial amounts of altitude while remaining over a selected ground reference point or spot. This maneuver is especially effective for emergency descents or landing. In this maneuver execution video, we will not be covering detailed aerodynamics, maneuver diagrams, common student errors, or the ACS standards. This video is to simply explain and demonstrate the execution of the maneuver and will vary based on the aircraft you are flying. To see all the additional details we just mentioned and to study this lesson's full length presentation, podcast, diagrams, flashcards, lesson quiz, and more, look up the Steep Spirals lesson on our website at wifi.cfi.com. Lastly, before we head out to the plane, there are a couple of key factors that we need to cover regarding this maneuver. When we get to the airplane, we are going to begin our video and our flight in the practice area above the airport, and I'll explain why we're gonna be above the airport in just a second, at a sufficient cruising altitude to set up, execute, and recover from the steep spirals. We're gonna start pretty high today. We're gonna to start at approximately 5,000 feet AGL. We need to do this so that we can perform three full 360 degree turns and recover from the maneuver above 1,500 feet AGL. So we've gotta get three full turns in and then remain above 1,500 feet AGL for our recovery. So we're gonna be pretty high. Next. At that high altitude, we will perform our clearing turns to look outside for traffic in the area, as we always do. We'll then go ahead and select an outside visual reference point directly below us, which today we're gonna use a runway at an airport. Because on the flight simulator, it is a little bit more difficult to pick uh, ground reference points here on the sim than it is in the actual airplane. So you don't have to do this over a runway when you're doing it in real life. You could do it over an intersection, uh, a building, you know, some kind of prominent landmark below you. But in the sim, it's just gonna be easier for us to demonstrate this if we're doing it directly over a runway. And since we're on the simulator, there's not gonna be any other traffic in the area. So we're gonna use the runway so it's easier for all of us to see. All right, where was I? Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna pick that uh, <laughs> we're gonna pick that reference point directly below us, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, bug our initial entry heading. So whatever heading we're entering on, we're gonna go ahead and bug that heading, so that we remember and know each time we complete the 360 degrees of turn. Okay. Next, we will reduce our throttle to idle. We'll close our cow flap if we have cow flaps. Enrich in our mixture. Do those things that would make the airplane safe for a rapid descent, and establish our descending spiral at the appropriate speed. Today we're gonna do our descending turns at 90 knots. We want to remain above our ground reference point, our runway, using bank angles up to, but not exceeding 60 degrees. So banking around it, staying directly above our airport as we descend. At the completion of each 360 degrees of turn, we will increase our throttle momentarily to clear the engine. Since we're just simulating this, so we're gonna bring our throttle up and then we'll bring it back to idle again. And at the completion of the third and final turn, we'll exit the maneuver on our entry heading and reestablish our cruise speed and our cruising configuration. So let's hop out there, show you guys how this works and do some steep spirals. All right, students, welcome out to our airplane. So before we do these steep spirals, I just kind of want to show you how we've got everything set up. Now, at this point, we're just gonna assume that we've already done our clearing turns. We were gonna do clearing turns in the video, but we got kind of set up with the runway here that we wanna use for our steep spirals and doing clearing turns is just gonna throw the whole thing off. So just remember to do clearing turns before you do this maneuver. The ground reference point we're gonna be using is this airport right down below our left wing tip here. Uh, let's see if may I can even get you a little better view. Now, it's on the flight simulator, it's not quite as precise as just picking one point. That being said, we're just going to use the end of this runway 20 that is down below our wing right here as our point, and we'll do the best that we can here on the flight simulator. The reason it's a little bit more difficult is you can't just 
turn your head and look out the window. You have to change your camera view on the flight simulator in order to look out your left window and make sure that you're staying above your point. But we are going to do our best. We're going to get these three 360 degree turns in, recover above 1500 AGL. Currently we're at 5000 feet AGL and we have our entry heading bug. So we're all set up for everything. I'm going to kick off the autopilot. We're going to bring our throttle back to idle, trim for a descent at 90, and we'll go ahead and start our turns around. Each time we get to that 360 degrees of our turn, we'll clear our engine and continue. So I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and unpause it. We'll kick off our autopilot, our autopilot master. Just keeping an eye on our point. I'm doing it from outside the window because it's almost impossible to see it from inside the airplane here. We're going to say that's good. Smoothly bring that throttle back to idle. Trim for descent at 90. Nice easy trim. And we'll see how well we're... Yeah, it's pretty difficult to see the, uh, the runway. But we're going to do our best on our flight simulator here. Alright, so I'm trimming back. Sorry, I was looking out the window. I am trimming back to get right about 90. And we're going to make our three turns here. Oh, I can kind of see the runway. Okay. So maybe we're a little steep here. Looking out the window. Maybe just a little steep, but we're keeping the turn coming around. We've got our airplane just nice and trimmed out for our speed. We can maybe bring the nose up a little more. Looking down. Looks like we're about the end of that runway 20. Like I said, I know it's hard to see, but we can see 20 right there. So we're spiraling down pretty good. Trimming her up. Not too far. Got to keep that nose coming down. Okay, there's our first 360 degrees of turn, so we're going to go ahead and add in some power, just kind of clear the engine, bring that power back, and keep the turn going. Glancing outside over our runway 20. Keeping our plane trimmed out, nosing over if we get too slow. Keep on checking on our point. Keep our trimming going, just checking our airspeed when we glance in and our heading. Continually looking at our ground reference point as well. So, you're dividing your attention inside and outside, right? Looking outside at your point, looking inside at your airspeed, making adjustments for your banking your airspeed, keeping your eye on your point, making sure you're not getting too fast or slow. There's our second turn. Second 360 degrees of turn, sorry. So power up and power back. Keeping an eye on our 20 point. Not too steep, not too shallow. Once we complete this 360 degrees of turn, we will just roll out on our entry heading and get in our cruise configuration. Cruise out. Remember, we want to keep this above 1,500, so we got about 600 feet to stay and recover above that 1,500. Still circling around our 2-0, coming down, making small adjustments to our altitude. Keeping our eye on our point. Coming up on our entry heading, we're going to be above 1,500 feet AGL, which is exactly what we want. And we're going to go ahead, roll wings level on our entry heading add our power in and let's just level out at 1700 feet retrimming reconfiguring the airplane for cruise there you go stayed above 1500 feet stayed above our reference point maybe we can pop around show you there now we're leaving it obviously but we did our three turns and that is steep spirals for you. Oh, I kind of popped outside of my airplane and lost my altitude there just a little bit, but maneuver's over anyway. So thanks for joining us on this lesson, guys, and we'll see you on our next maneuver lesson coming up soon.